Hey everybody, Jack here from the ERP Organizational Change Journal podcast. Here's an insightful quote from one of our episodes. Check it out. Please be sure to catch the entire conversation. One of the things that our organizations are are facing a lot these days, a lot more, I would say, is that we are constantly faced with the diminishing resources. So we don't have enough resources to get everything done. But there's also increased pressure for us to provide quality and quantity products or services, depending on, on what you're doing. So I haven't worked too long in the in private enterprises. Most of my experience has been in, in, the, in what we call the public sector, you know, governmental or intergovernmental, multi-governmental organizations. And I would say in both environments, we definitely do not have enough resources to get things done. And we are under pressure to provide quality and quantity products or services, depending on what the organization needs to do. At least that's what I documented in my article. However, I must add that there's almost a, there's almost a third dimension to it. So what we have, all our, all our organizations have, have stakeholders, whoever that stakeholder might be. If on the one hand we're talking about resource optimization, so we know that resources are diminishing and we need to optimize them. And on the other hand, we're talking about value and benefits realization. We also have to talk about risk and how we manage risk and how we optimize risk because regardless of what decisions we make, we need to be guided by what risk appetite we have. So in a sense, going beyond just what was written in the article, there are three uh, realities that we have to work around. One is how we optimize the resources that we have, which are limited. The other is what value we're getting out of whatever activities are taking place within our organization, and I'd call this benefits realization. But the third, which was not mentioned in the article, is the idea of risk optimization. Jack, what a valuable insight. That definitely got my attention. Listeners, we hope you're enjoying our podcast. And of course, we'd love to hear from you. So please leave us a comment and subscribe. We want to make this the most insightful podcast you listen to. We look forward to hearing from you. Bye for now.